Hello, Internet friends and family. It's me, Prepper Russ, and I'm here to talk about EDC Survival Keychains and the one that took me two years to build. This thing has the ultimate stuff on it. Like all those other keychains in those videos, don't even worry about them. I got everything here. And this is the best one you're going to see. This is how it looks when I put it on. And I'm going to show you everything on it right now. Now, before I get started on the actual keychain itself, I want to talk about a couple supplemental things that I always carry with me when I have my keychain on me, all right? So, my knife, right? You got to have a good everyday carry knife. This is mine. And I'm going to talk about this knife later in another video. Also, you want to have an EDC wallet. So, there's a lot of stuff in here besides money. Well, I don't have much money and like credit cards and stuff like that. So that'd be another video for another time. One last thing, mace. So I don't normally keep this on my keychain unless I feel like I might be going to a situation where there I am going to be interacting with other people or something. So what I normally do is I keep this in my car. There's the brand. I keep this in my car. And then if I'm like getting out of the car and something, I'll be like, okay, I got this little clippy thing that it works and it's on the keychain, right? So I can just put it on my keychain now. And now it's with me. So I get to decide if I want it on me or not. And uh, the reason I don't usually keep it on me is because it's just extra bulk. And sometimes I'm like, if I'm just hanging out with the family or something, I don't feel like I need that anyway. Let's move on to the keychain itself. All right. So I love this guy. This is a really cool carabiner. Um, spring loaded, heavy duty stuff. It also has a little knife on the side, supplemental knife, right? This thing is not as cool as my pocket knife I showed you earlier, but I sharpened this little sucker up and it's almost razor sharp. So it's just nice to have an extra blade on you. And let's go. Well, let's talk about the three ring system I got going on here. So I bought these like cables or steel cables coated in plastic, right? So they don't scrape and rub on everything else and wear down the paint or whatever. But then you just screw them and lock them in place. Trust me, these things are super strong and these things are really hard to get off. You gotta give them some effort, but they're never going to break, right? So I like those. I also, I'm doing a little bit of color coordination because I really like orange and black and silver. Uh, orange is like, you know, my favorite color. So I kind of just did that, but you can buy these variety packs. They come in like 10, they cost hardly nothing. All right. So then I also buy these little guys here that fit on the actual cables and they're like, um, little clampers, almost like a carabiner, but you know, not. And then I bought those two to just kind of do organization. So things don't get all tangled up and everything. So you, you'll see those. And then I even got like a little S carabiner on there. And then, yeah. And then you also see I invested in a big pack of these just key rings because those come in handy too. Now, the reason I like these um, clips is because I can take stuff off here easily, right? Because there's some things on here like my flashlight. I might not want to be carrying this whole thing around, just use my flashlight so I can easily pop it off here or my whistle, right? So let's, let's start with that. That sounds like a good starting point. So the whistle, this is probably the loudest whistle you can buy for its size, right? And always remember that it's three blasts. Doot, doot, doot. That, that means emergency and people, you come to me. I'm having a problem. I can't get to you, right? So that's the uh, universal, like, um, whatever, help call. Next up is the flashlight. And I love these. I own like four of these because I got them on all my gear for all my different bags and stuff. But they are the brightest mini flashlight you're ever going to get. Trust me, this thing blows away your cell phone. Like, I know a lot of people are like, well, I'll just use my cell phone light. Oh, no, this sucker is a million times brighter. Okay, maybe not a million, but it feels like it. And it has three different modes. Like, I like to, you have to hold it in to turn it on so it doesn't actually um, go turn on in your pocket or whatever. So it's got medium mode, and then it's like super, 
Oh, let's do this again. Super bright mode. And then it even has um like another medium. And then it does the flashing. That's great too if you're in an emergency and you need help. People see that for like long ways of ways. Up next is just paracord because you never know when you just need some some tie something off or whatever. And it's really lightweight. So I said, screw it, I'll throw it on there, you know. Um, okay, so this is my pill case, but I don't just have pills in here. I also have some other items. I consider it kind of like uh, mostly first aid, and it's just light first aid, right? But if you look in here, I actually have two um, sonic earplugs. I'll take one out. And then also, while I'm doing this, I got a Band-Aid in there, a safety pin, because sometimes it's nice to just have something really tiny so you can, like stick stuff with get a splinter out i don't know but these sonic earplugs are really nice because they don't just uh, block your ear from all like loud noises they allow some frequencies in but if it's too loud it stops them so that's the cool thing about those and then underneath that i'm not going to pull it out because it takes forever to stuff all this stuff back in i have some cotton with um that's kind of just holding some pills in there and the pills that I have. Number one is aspirin because aspirin is great to have in case somebody's having chest pains or heart attack and you just put it in their mouth and say, hey, chew, eat it, right? And that can actually save a life. Um, I also just have a couple comfort things in there like I have a, a Benadryl. I have a um, uh, anti-acid because I get stomach reflux, acid reflux sometimes. And then um, I also have an Ativan in there, which I have a prescription for. And that's if someone's having like a bad panic attack or something, you give them one of those and um, really kind of save their day, right? So uh, anyway, I'm going to close that up later because it's going to take forever. That's that ring. I think it covered everything. Let's check. Yep. Remember, detachable, especially your flashlight and your whistle. I think that's important. Let's go to the middle ring. Um... This is the world's tiniest uh, keychain pin. Because you never know when you need to ride on something. So it's kind of neat because it just pulls out and you keep pulling it. And then it comes out and it's a pin and it writes. And it writes pretty good. And it has a little ink cartridge in there and all that stuff. So And then it collapses. right? And it's all stainless steel too. But it even comes with the key ring and all that. Really nice. And, and it stays locked in there pretty good too. This is a, one of my favorite many tools I know a lot of people are like, oh, just carry a, uh, you know, a, like a Gerber mini tool thing. It's all, it, they're big and bulky and heavy, right? But most of them just have screwdrivers on them or a knife. Got a knife covered. And scissors. And I'm like, you don't really need scissors when you got a knife. So it's like, I wanted to get something smaller, not as bulky. And this actually has little pliers on it, right? Isn't that cool? It also has a little bit of a, like a um, cutter on it like you can cut wire and strip wire with it and then you get all these beautiful little um screwdrivers on it so you get everything from like pretty big to like medium to tiny and it even has a little tiny drill on it which i don't even have any idea how that would come in handy but who knows and i'm um, sorry it keeps going in out of focus um and then you got your flat heads on that side so that thing is kind of like the coolest little tool for the size and, uh, and it's kind of neat too how it clamps onto your keychain because you just you use the pliers like for, and then when you do this it locks it into place pretty sweet huh all right and i got one more thing on the middle keychain here which is the actual keys right so i got my car keys my my car fob and just my house key now here's one thing i learned recently and you'll probably be like why are you like making that detachable aren't you just gonna you know Clip this on your belt and wear it. And when it's time to get in the car, you're just going to unclip it and put this whole thing, let it just dangle down when you when you push this into the ignition. No, I learned something from an auto mechanic that's like one of the biggest killers of car starters is when your key is in the ignition and it's being weighted down. All right, so let's imagine it's in the ignition and it's being weighted down by all this. That actually causes um this pressure on your internal like uh ignition system that actually makes your starter keep wanting to run and that's he said it's the biggest cause of people's car starters going out in their cars and after he told me that i was like oh geez so that means anytime you know i get in my car and i got this on me 
I have to take this off. I don't want that weight on my ignition key, right? So I just easily undo it. And now it's nice and light and it goes into my ignition. When I'm done, I get out of the car and then I just slap it right back on, right? So I always got my keys on my keychain. All right, so hopefully that little tip taught you something that, you know, I never knew until now. Over here is kind of my electronic section. Uh, this is like the world's smallest plug-in for a battery charger for your phone, right? So it plugs into the wall and then it has a, a micro USB port on it. Now, here's the thing. When I first made this, I had the um, Ga uh, Galaxy 6, I think. And now I got the S10. And it doesn't use the micro anymore. But there's some things out there that still use micro USB. It's still very popular. So I want to keep this. I don't even know if they make the new type, which is USB-C. But I'm covered because I got a little adapter. Right? So this little adapter plugs into that. Now I got USB-C. I think that's what they call them. Anyway, uh, so now I can cover those things. Now, if you're an iPhone person, you're going to have to like get an adapter for your iPhone. But I love it because it's super tiny. I can plug this in anywhere and just put my phone right on top of that, right? And it charges. So but charging your phone ability is always what I consider kind of a survival thing nowadays because we use them for so many things. Let's get past that. This is for like data storage, all right? So this is a neat little thing. It's 64 gigabytes. Wow, right? And all you do is just squeeze this and then you can use USB, which is USB 2, but like everything else, it's all compatible. Or you slide it over here and you got the micro USB. So I could actually plug this into my phone to get data off of it and store it onto this, right? Because it's data storage. It's not just a adapter. So I can get stuff. Right? And vice versa. I can like USB, put that in a computer or whatever, store data on it, and then transfer it to my phone. Lovely little gadget to have, and it's so tiny and it's so cool the way it's designed. That's my clip for my mace. Right? We talked about that. And I think that's almost it. And we're gonna end with the um with the peanut lighter. One of my favorite things on my keychain. So I thought about putting a ferro rod on here, and I was like, you know what? This thing is all metal and it scrapes up against stuff. I don't want to call sparks, you know, even, even if the ferro rod is coated, it could still get worn down. It's, you could just cause a spark to happen. And I'm like, I don't want that to happen, but I do want the ability to have fire. And I was like, well, I could just get a little pill bottle and put matches in it, or I could just buy this and have instant fire, which this is like just a little tiny baby. Um, oh, what do you call them? The Zeppo lighter. Yeah, it acts the same way. It's got like the flint and all that stuff in it. But then you just fill it up with lighter fluid. And then there you go. And another thing cool about this too is like I can just set it down places. Use it for a light or something, right? So, hold on. And uh, yeah, peanut lighters, man. They're the best little lighter to have, right? I think. They're fun. But it's, it's like watertight, airtight so that the fluid always stays in there but you know i always check it once every couple months just to make sure all right guys i think that's it i think i covered everything just doing one more last walk through and then you're probably like well okay how much does this thing weigh it's i don't know it feels about like maybe a pound i mean it looks like it probably weighs a ton but it really doesn't so i went through the grueling process of finding links to each and every item on my keychain, and I put it in the description below. I'm Prepper Russ, I guess. <laughs>